Yo, what's good people? Welcome to another goddamn video. It feels like every single time I finish a show, I just end up being in this gym. I don't know what it is, but I guess they got a pool on me here. So we are, we are in London uh, for a couple of days, so only right to check out muscle work. So um, I'm gonna be hitting upper. This is the first training session I've had since technically Wednesday last week. So it's almost been a week off training, which to be fair, is probably very much needed because it's been a long prep. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get a nice, nice, nice pump and then uh, get some pictures and shit. We just woke back down like I fucking rats. Back down this night, licking up out of that. Back on my bullshit, white pants, cool fit, three in the back. And I thought I glued your bitch, two shit, mud hit the blonde like a bump. Slick in the cup with the cut, no, we never gave a fuck. If I come, fuck it up, bitch, fuck. Let in the brain, I got taught in the lungs. Threats for less things in my car, fuck his lung. Nothing to gain, I got nothing but bad fucking luck. Lean the seat back as I swerve and I crash it. This bump mixed with glasses, my dreams turn to black, I'm ass. I actually felt bad on the foot, man. Really deep stretch. Which, I think right now it's about feeling the movements, feeling the motions. Not necessarily like uh, going too hard. I think a lot of people, they go back into the gym, they got food in them, and they just go, right, time to fucking send it. Because you do feel strong, or you feel like better than you was feeling the entire prep or whatever. But this is the time to really take a step back. In my opinion, take a couple of days off, you know, let your body rest and recover. Because at the end of the day, like, your body is only going to be able to take you so far when it's just running on fumes. And feeding it and sleeping regular is not enough rest. At the end of the day, bodybuilding is pretty intensive. I wouldn't say it's the, it's the hardest sport or anything like that. It is really hard, but it's not the hardest sport. But what it is, is it's really intensive day in, day out. So you need to give yourself that rest and recovery time from it as well. As well as, you know, pushing really hard and making sure that you can uh, make as much progress as you can. So I feel, you know what, I think the best analogy is bodybuilding is like dating. There's always a time to push and there's always a time to pull. And right now, we're on that time to pull. And then um, in a couple of weeks time, we'll be ready to go crazy and start pushing, you feel me? Woo! Give it a week. <laughs> you know what? Before this shit chops off my hair, I'm, I'm off. <laughs> I'm gonna hit some biceps. <laughs> right. In my room, four black walls, tie the noose, no recall, no result, fuck with draw, rather shoot up till I fall. Murder on call with the five nine, 20 years in 
the same like a lifetime I've been hanging every day from a lifeline Why these fuckers tell dinner every night time Smoke, smoke in that dope off the floor, let me buck Hopefully don't cut, don't fuck with y'all Spray paint the walls with blood and whatever Drag you outside, let you rot in the wet I don't think I can explain any better I'm scared from the terror and live for the less My birth was an error That's a wrap for the goddamn workout. Uh, I was actually gonna use this time as well to go over uh, basically the reason being why I'm no longer working with Gymshark, because I did mention it on the show day video, but I guess this is the perfect time to actually get into it. That way we don't have to ever talk about Gymshark ever again. No, I'm joking. More than likely, um, we'll, be using, we'll still be working with them, doing the modeling stuff. That's not off the cards, but obviously as an athlete, that's done, so. Um, yeah, um, a couple of weeks ago, I got a, a, an email from Gymshark just saying that essentially they weren't happy with the way I was promoting the new uh, clothes. I wasn't posting enough of them and my sales weren't high enough. But the thing is, that was a weird thing about that email to me anyway, was the fact that like I just hadn't received any new clothes because I was obviously posting a lot. I even had Matty come on board so we can get the most content for uh, Gymshark possible. But clearly uh, their vision and my vision wasn't the same vision on the bright side though we are going to be working with a brand where the vision is lining up a lot better so we are working with VQ from now on and as you can see even in this gym alone they're selling VQ here they got signs up on the walls for the Dave Trains events from, with VQ like VQ is very heavily involved in the actual bodybuilding scene especially in the London and the UK so that is where we're trying to, you know what I mean? We're trying to take our talents to a space where bodybuilding is first and foremost the most important thing. Uh, with Gymshark, I'll tell you for now, they don't really understand bodybuilding. You know, like I was explaining to them how to, like how bodybuilding works, you know, from a competitive standpoint and things of that nature. Whereas BQ, that's not a conversation, you know, so. Obviously, we're going to be rocking that VQ all the way to the goddamn Olympia. You know what I'm saying? Uh, obviously Conte as well. Shouts out to Conte. So yeah, we're just gonna be uh, we're gonna be running this thing till the Olympia, which is a fucking crazy, 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 crazy statement. Like most people, they get like a couple months or whatever for the Olympia, but we get a whole goddamn year. That's crazy. So yeah. Um, I think that the season worked out very well for the rest of us. Uh, I'll be honest, like, if I got to the Olympia, if I won the Europa, right, and I got to the Olympia last minute, it would have been a Hail Mary uh, from a, a Fording standpoint. I know they would have, I think they would have reimbursed me because I think it's too, it was too close to actually have the Olympia pay for me to get down there. So I don't know how I would even financially manage that as well. I had a, we would have had to get Matty down there as well. Uh, so that would have been a pain in the ass because Matty's a pain in the ass, not joking, but no, nah, it just would have been a pain in the ass from all standpoints other than obviously like what's happened now, which is it gives us a year to actually put our heads down, lock in for the entire year with just one focus, which is getting to the Olympia, you know, saving money, uh, you know, doing the, doing the do, doing the dance day in, the day out. Uh, for now, we're just going to be in that recovery phase, but as soon as that recovery phase is done, we're going to be hitting hard. Um, I'm going to try and YouTube document the whole entire time, so I'm not going to just slack off because we're in the recovery phase. We're going to try and get as much YouTube and Instagram content done as possible. Um, and then we will be running it all the way down to the goddamn Olympia. 
Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a goddamn good year. It's a good year to be following Yemi. You know what I mean? We're going to give you some goddamn interesting shit to watch. So make sure you like, subscribe. You know what? Turn on that post notification as well so you get a fucking bell every single time that I got them post. And yeah, let's get this goddamn Olympia fucking win, baby. Yeah, I'm going to go win the first Olympia that I've ever done. Let's get it. <laughs>